Today we're going to take a look at the Fox Speed G29 jump starter and do a jump start. Here's everything you get. You get the battery bank, the clamps, a cigarette port adapter, a recharging cable and wall outlet, the user's manual, and this uh, clamshell carrying case. It's pretty small so it should fit under your car seat. This is the battery bank that you receive. So in addition to doing jump starts, this is also a 21,000 milliamp battery bank. So you can recharge devices. So there's two outputs here. So I can recharge a cell phone, a camera, by just plugging in a USB cable there. This is also a flashlight. So to turn on the flashlight, I'll just hold down the power button until the flashlight comes on. So it cycles in some different modes. So this is just the solid light. If I press it again, it's going to be a warning. So it's going to flash SOS. If I press it again, then it's just going to be a strobe. And I can hold it down to power it off. And the display here is going to show you the current charge status. So right now it's at 80%. So normally you want to try and keep it at 100% for doing jump starts. But we're going to do a, a jump start test here in a little bit. And I'll test it at 80% to see how it performs. Now there's also this 12 volt output, output here, which is for use with a cigarette port adapter. So I could add a USB hub so I could charge additional devices. I also have a tire inflator that I'm going to test that uses a cigarette port. So that will be real nice if I could use my Fox Speed to power the tire inflator. Alright, let's try the Fox Speed in my tire inflator. Go plug it into the cigarette port. Power it on. Alright, works good. Now let's try a jump start. All right, before we mess around with doing a jump start here, it's always a good idea to have, have on your safety goggles. In rare cases, batteries can explode, so better be safe than sorry. Now, this is about a five-year-old battery that I've been saving for testing jump starters. It's been stored in the garage. I just put it in the car, and it should be very dead. So, um, Susie, go ahead and try and start the car. Yep, so it won't start the car. So now we're going to try and jump start it with the Fox Speed. Now, what I like to do is I hook the cables up to the car battery first, and then we'll hook this up to the Fox Speed. So you're always going to hook up the positive first. So that's going to be the red. So red on red. And I notice there's nothing on the display yet. But as soon as I hook the black up to the negative terminal, you'll see I get if this is upside down, but I'm, it's reading 9.9 .9 volts. So I'll show you the voltage of the battery. That's super low. But I also have um, enough room I can clip this off here to the um, to the ground. And I'll just be a little farther away from the battery, just in case we got a spark or something, it'll be sparked up there and won't be close to the battery. So now this is at 9.9 .9 volts. Now the other thing, I don't have my Fox speed at 100%. So it's only at 80%. And it's going to perform the strongest when it's a full charge. But realistic situation, maybe this has been in your car for six months or a year, it might not be at a full charge. So let's see if we can jump this very dead battery with the Fox speed at 80%. So we'll go ahead and plug this in here. And then wait to see if we get a reading on the display. So now it's reading this turn, the Fox speed turned on and it's now reading at 15.1, 15.2 volts. So we should have a nice strong uh, voltage to jump the battery. All right, Susie, give it a shot. Something else to point out when you're doing your jump start, make sure you're getting voltage readings on the display. If you just have lines, that means the clamps might have timed out and aren't active. So you'll need to maybe unplug them and plug them back in and yeah, make sure you have that reading. Otherwise, you might not get a jump start. Now to recharge your unit, there's this wall adapter and this USB-C cable. So you just plug that into the wall adapter and then it, it's going to plug into this uh, in and out right there. So that's how you'll recharge it. Then you can also recharge it from your vehicle. So you know, if you just have a USB hub in your car, you can use the same cable and, and recharge it that way. So in conclusion, it worked really good for charging devices as a flashlight, jumping in the car, use it to power my tire inflator. So uh, pretty happy with the Fox Speed. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you.